Hello Mech Warriors and welcome back to the new Let's Play. I am starting for Mech Assault. Yes, this all but forgotten gem was an entry for the console market of the venerable Battletech franchise. Well received with a score of 87% from Metacritic and a 9.2 out of 10 from IGN, this game sees you take the pilot seat of many fan favorite battle mechs and omni mechs alike as the elite mech warrior working for the Wolf's Dragoons mercenary unit. The time frame of the game is a little unclear, but considering the enemy you face and the available technologies, it more than likely takes place sometime in the Jihad. This fits in with the lore that sometime between the early 3060s and the late 3070s, the Wolf's Dragoons mercenary unit saw a huge decimation of their numbers. Now. Like all video game adaptations of the Battletech franchise, the canonicity is sketchy at best, and the events that take place are to be taken lightly and as an exaggeration, or even a propaganda, such as in the case of the Battletech cartoon. Mech Assault was released on November 11, 2003 in the United States for the original Xbox as an arcade action game that is only really akin to other single-player MechWarrior games in aesthetic. There really are no hitboxes for the battle mix, and you can't even lose components aside from a leg, which is mainly flavor to show that your mech is seriously in poor condition. The game still, however, is tremendous fun. Mech Assault brought console multiplayer to the Battletech franchise and even supported the fledgling Xbox Live platform with online multiplayer games of Free For All, Team Deathmatch, and Grinder. No, not the dating app, but a Mech Warrior take on Gears of War's Horde mode or Call of Duty's Zombies nearly five years prior. And one more thing before we start the game here, as I've been yammering on the demo cinematic and has been playing in the background there. I'm not sure if many people know this or if it's a missed possible easter egg, but several segments of the video are taken directly from the Mech Warrior 4 intro cinematic, particularly the segments where the screen displays some text and a red filter shows over some of the video. Mech Warrior 4 debuted three years prior as a PC exclusive. Now, I will be playing the game on uh, regular, I believe is the setting, let me go ahead and double check here. I'll, uh, actually, I'll create a new one, new campaign, because I did get a little bit of uh, progress on that campaign there, just because I was testing the game out. I am playing this on my modded Xbox, which uh, is running a copy of X Unleash, um, and has somewhere around so oops, somewhere around 700 gigabytes worth of games. Installed. Why do I keep doing that? No. A little rusty with the uh, controller here. It's been a while since I played this bad boy. Yep. Let's go ahead. Select difficulty. Yeah. Let's go with regular. Dirt access. No. Normal. Save the settings. Alrighty folks, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I've got our orders. The invasion still steps off as planned. They're not paying us to be late. But the best part is that we get to go in first, just like old times. The intel boys say the enemy is powering up a set of nasty ground-to-orbit guns. If those are online when the rest of the Dragoons arrive, everyone dies, and we blow our bonus. So our little team gets to make a covert landing outside the range of the existing guns, sneak across half a continent, and take them out before our dropships show up. Just you, me, briefing boy here, a handful of pilots, and some of your favorite toys. Mm. You up for this? Favorite toys. Man, the textures for this game have not aged well at all. Honestly, I'm not surprised considering it's. Burn is clean, all systems normal. We're in the pipe. Touchdown in two. It's from 2003. Sorry about that. We've been scanned. Weapon fire inbound. 
Foster, I need that damage report now. Okay, Captain, I have bad news and worse news. The bad news is that you're the only one who didn't make it out of the dropship before we hit. The worst news is that you're the only mech warrior anywhere near here. Here's a quick status report. It was a rough landing, but the Icarus held together, mostly. At the first sign of trouble, we hot-dropped the other combat teams. Bravo Lance is out there somewhere, but we've lost all contact. Is there something beyond worse? Here it comes. The dropship's long-range sensors and weapon systems are out. They'll be coming for us, and soon. Lieutenant Foster tells me that most of our battle mechs are offline, but he's trying to get one up and running. So let's do what the Wolf Dragoons are paid to do. Improvise. Confirm your mech status, then recon and secure the immediate area. Fast. I'll keep trying to raise Bravo Lance on comm. Alright, so the first mech we get to start with is the very classic light mech, the Cougar. Uh, it is, I believe, a 30 tonner. I'll have to double check myself here. Um, in all sports, all clan tech, uh, of course, at this point in the timeline, mixed tech is a thing. Um, for those of you who are uh, usually, you know, who play the other, other single player games, would know that those of you who are coming from just mech order online, uh, probably wouldn't be aware uh, unless you you know dove into the lore a little bit. So let's go ahead and check out the stats here. We have a decent amount of health, uh, really good speed, and it comes equipped with jump jets. We get two pulse lasers, an auto cannon, and two javelin missiles. I believe the javelins in this game at least are LRMs. So we have uh, two, what I'm guessing are going to be medium pulse lasers. Again, between this game and um, Mech Commander, the weapon designations aren't exactly finite or, or well-defined. Um, the, all the auto cannons in this game are LB auto cannons, so for this I'm looking at maybe an LB-5, two medium pulse lasers, and two LRM-5s, even though in this game, a designation of a missile allotment is literally all it's got. So it's going to be firing two missiles at a time. Uh, there is no ammo in this game. Uh, there are upgrades, uh, though, which will give you a limited amount of special ammo to fire each weapon upgrades a total of three times. Um, and picking up further upgrades while at the max up upgrade level will just allow you to pick up you know, more ammo. I was able to use parts from some of the heavy mechs to fix the Cougar Scout mech. Wait, you took parts from the heavy mechs to fix the light mech? Well, um, yeah, I, I thought that I... Oh, whoa, I'm reading some signatures in the canyon to the north of our position. We've got company. Mech warrior, proceed north and investigate. Briefing boy, we need to talk. Use the left thumbstick to move your mech and the right thumbstick to pivot your torso. The right trigger fires a selected weapon. Turn the aiming control upside down by pressing start and selecting controller options and selecting invert Y axis. Axis. So yeah. Uh, one thing about the mechs in this game also is that they have 360 degree torso twist, just like the urban mech. Every mech has that. It's neat. But I think it's a little overkill. Squad inbound. Infantry? Who would want to fight a mech on foot? Looks like your lucky day, Tiger. Squish the tinies. Remember the first time I ever played this game? I thought that was like, the coolest thing. But I got to just crush. The sensor readings come from beyond this ridge. Use your jump jets to hop over short obstacles. Lieutenant, you are talking to a trained mech warrior, not a tank jockey. Click and hold the left thumbstick button to jump jet. Steer using the same thumbstick. Yeah, so just very basic. Or actually, oop. Yeah, steer using the same thumbstick. Reading infantry base, dead ahead. 
But they're rather advanced all jump jets, all things considered. Use your left trigger to cycle through your weapons. Your currently selected weapon appears in the lower right of your HUD. So yeah, these are my javelin missiles. It's official. They know we're here and they will be coming for us. The lock-on mechanic for them is rather poor. I don't want to say poor. As long as you have line of sight, they instantly lock. And remember how I was saying that the ooh, auto cannons in this game are all the LB. There we go. You uh, you hit an invisible wall there, buddy. Ooh, I missed. Oh well. Yeah, so they're all basically giant shotguns, which is fine. I like LB. Some salvage energy fire. weapon upgrades. See, salvage it's called. Look for salvage after destroying certain buildings, supply trucks, or enemy mechs. Some salvage will replenish your armor, while others provide increased weapon power. Keep an eye out for hidden salvage. So that means destroy everything. I've got readings that look like a supply convoy of some kind. You should check it out. As much as you can, at least. More infantry? Are they crazy? These guys must be fanatics. Don't waste your ammo. Pretend that those poor bloody infantry are bugs and step... Confirmed. Supply convoy it is. These little white tanks look like they're harassers. They're firing SRMs like they are. Rather streak SRMs, so... Just make quick work of them. And all of those up. Mech Warrior, that convoy was going somewhere. Find out where. Lieutenant Foster, can you get us some coordinates? Almost got them online. There we go. Now these assets are radar towers. So, if this was a regular Mech Warrior game, there'd be sirens going off like nuts. Looks like an infantry headquarters and support facility, but I'm getting some weird readings. I can't pin it. Who are these crazy bastards? Wipe them out, level their HQ building, and watch for any salvage. There's a turret control tower. Oh, it's still standing. Why? Ooh. Get away from me. This was other games. I know I keep comparing it to the other Battletech games and franchises, but I took out the turret control tower and the turret stopped firing. Okay, bye. New readings. Whoa, that's some sort of hybrid power armor. It's Hybrid just an elemental. Armor? What is going on here? Planetary militias don't have power armor. Um. This is new. Okay. Thought I was stuck there. Elementals and squish them. Yeah. There's one. Up. 
I forgot your messes can target multiple things at once. Neat. Oh, there is heat in this game though, which they made them so thin in for some strange enough reason. They had to balance it somehow, I guess. Foster is reading no more signatures. Good job, Mech Warrior. Return to the Icarus ASAP. Alrighty, folks, that is it for the first mission here. Let's watch this ending cinematic, shall we? Sirs, I'm receiving a video feed from Bravo Lance. Finally. Transmit it. Hey, watch yourself. Lieutenant, can you get that back? I can't, Major. There's nothing to get back. I see. Any sign of the rest of Alpha Lance? N no, sir. Captain, get back to the Icarus. For now, it's just you and that scout mech, but this operation continues. Like I said, Dragoons improvise. We need to move on with the campaign. On our own, for now. Our first priority is to cripple the defensive capabilities of the enemy. We're going to start by attacking their communications infrastructure. Foster, brief him. Sir, just as a note, I've- Actually, I am going to let that stop there. I will be doing the episodes for this on a mission-by-mission -mission basis, just like I've been doing for Met Commander. So keep an eye out for the next one. We'll pick up next time with Suffer the Silence. Thank you folks for joining me today for the flight episode of my Mech Assault Let's Play on the original Xbox. If you like what I'm doing, please do not forget to drop a like and a subscribe. If there's anything you feel like could improve upon for these Let's Plays, please go ahead and drop a comment down in the section below. If you would all like to know what exactly my modded Xbox is running and how it is set up, uh, I'll go ahead and request it in the comments. In the next video, if I get enough uh, requests about it, I will go ahead and uh, talk about the specs and everything and what I did to set it up the way I did um, in a separate video. Uh, thank you very much again, folks, for watching, and have a nice time, Mech Warriors.